Next, we are at Nell and Chris's house. Uh-oh. They are having dinner with their kids mm. and with Nell's niece. Well, I guess Nell and Chris's niece is the same age. Yeah. Yeah. So they tell us the breakdown of the family that they both had a child coming into the marriage mm-hmm. and then they had two children together. Mm-hmm. Nell doesn't call it a blended family because when they got together, both of their kids were like one years old. Yeah. So she was like, we've been parents to all these kids. Yeah. Uh, Kiki is Nell's niece. Mm hmm. And apparently she had to fire Kiki. It's, all, it's always that name Kiki, ain't it? <laughs> uh-huh. Nell asked her, since I fired you, are you working? And she says she got a new job. She mm-hmm. got fired again, but she found another job. Okay. Uh, the issue was that she didn't have proper child care. She didn't want to tell Nell at first because she wanted to get the situation worked out. Mm-hmm. And she didn't want to hear Nell's mouth. Okay. She told Chris first because he's cool. He's the cool uncle. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yes. Nell helps her. So she thought Kiki should have told her first. Mm-hmm. And I would agree. If I'm over here paying your bills and checking on you and all this type of stuff, let me know what's going on. Okay. You ain't the cool auntie, Blair. Okay. Chris is the cool uncle. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Kiki said it's because of how you react to stuff. Mm-hmm. Chris thinks that they come to him because he'll listen fully to how they feel and what's going on before he responds. Mm-hmm. Nell has a habit of kind of like jumping to conclusions before people could get the whole story out. Yeah. Nell says, uh, every one of y'all have your own issues mm. and I'm here for all of y'all. Mm-hmm. They say, y'all run to your dad. Mm-hmm. And then the Nell's son said, you know, he doesn't run to his dad, but he also doesn't really call his mom anymore. Mm. And Nell's like, yeah, you don't call me. And he says, well, it's because of the dog. So apparently... The son went to jail. He went to jail. And uh, the dog, they had to go get the dog. And they ended up having to take the dog to the vet. They paid uh, like over $3,000 something dollars for the dog. Mm-hmm. Then they had to bail him out of jail, which was over $6,000. Mm-hmm. And they said, you're not getting this dog back until you pay us back. That's fair to me. <laughs> it's our dog now. Yeah. So that's why he don't be calling uh, his mom like that. Because mm-hmm. she got his dog held hostage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. So Nell gets to hollering because she's over here trying to talk to her son, and then the daughter is chiming in, and she's like, "Would you just shut the hell up?" Alexis, <laughs> her name Alexis. Shut yep. the hell up, Alexis. Uh, and I wasn't mad at that because I'm trying to talk to him. What is all this chirping you doing? So we don't even hear you. <laughs> Let's hear. Yeah, that already lets me know that Alex, Alexis, you may be the middle child or whatever. Yeah, because because you you caught a stray that was. Matter of fact, not even a straight. That you should have shut the hell up because I don't even know what you were saying. Did you? Okay, maybe I should bring that up. I was you gonna get, say, did you see the uh, the clip of the Braxtons when Evelyn was talking to Tamar? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then she told uh, Trina, uh, "Shut it." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that's what it reminded me. Of. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. My thing is, I can kind of already tell what type of mom Nell is. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You look across the room and across the the children. You could, and then you got one of them that went to jail. You got the niece who she, who was basically raised as as her own and things like that. Yeah. Who can't keep a job. It kind of gives off the you know spoiled type of kids. Okay. You know, like you know the parents is well off. If something happens to where let's say something something happens to you, like you get arrested. Yeah. somebody come take care of your dog you get what i'm saying like that's that's like that don't normally happens <laughs> you get what i'm saying yeah. if something happens to you and nobody take care of the dog they take the dog yeah you know but um you know i think because they look like sheltered kids so whenever sheltered kids uh come around you usually see them they look totally different from the parents they look like they have different morals than the parents you know tattoos jail ethics and things like that you got one trying to talk over the mom and things like that it's just <laughs> it's just it's just chaos yeah <laughs> um what did like you think about that scene I thought it was a funny scene. I thought it was a great scene. And I scene. was like, I, I was, was like, I want more of this. Listen I want to see their family dynamics play out. I want to see all of this, the stuff with the A hundred percent. I was like, this is good stuff. A hundred percent. Listen here. Carlos, I know you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a big fan, right? Look, all everybody on this show have children. Yeah. Right? Everybody on this show have children. And I wish we was to see more family interactions like we saw with this scene with Nell and Chris yeah. with their family and things like that. 
besides like you know besides the scenes where you know it's gossip these little comeback meetings that never come to anything and then all these like meetings about rehashing like it, stuff that's already happened exactly did you hear about the cookout what'd you think this, about the cookout this was a, it's, it's like i let's move the story along yes, yes. this was the breath of fresh air right here i'm like yeah. oh th- this is where you put to be continued i will continue yeah next week and things like that i love that scene because it actually showed like look it kind of reminded me of of my family not in the sense of like the mother hollering <laughs> but it's the different dynamics it's yeah. just something as little as the mother just telling everybody the business out, out loud so like i heard so like you know you got fired have like you got another job i'm like right. what you ain't pull me to the side <laughs> you know what i mean because i take care of all of y'all all y'all got issues exactly and Thanks, Ma. <laughs> because to her she's like this is family. Yeah. You want to see how we interact with a family? This is how w- they come over for dinner. Listen here. Now I kind of see why. I'm putting my own spice on it. Okay. Now I see why they are out the house, though. Okay. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because, you know, once you're grown and they're old enough, oh, there's, I can already tell, there's no living with me. Yeah. We already took your dog in. We ain't taking you in. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You have your own issues. You can't keep a job. You can't live here. You uh-huh. know what I mean? You got the one over here that's feel entitled to talk over the mother. You definitely can't live here because you will make me die early. Uh-huh. So it's just all these things. And, and and guess what? I'm sitting there watching, and I am very interested in this storyline. I wish we can see more behind the scenes or more scenes with these people interacting with their families. Marcel got kids. Tisha got kids. Um, um, Maurice and Monster, we did see that. Yeah, we you saw guess? that in depth. We did see yeah. that Jalen and and uh, Kimmy and things like that. Yeah, we, like like I wish we could see that. Mel, I think Mel's kids are a little too young. They're younger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so was Tisha's yeah. kids. They're you know, too young, really. But but uh-huh. we did see them. But but they are CEOs. Yeah, they was working. <laughs> yeah, you see. So so look, <laughs> yeah. they're not too young. This was a breath. <laughs> This was a breath of fresh air to see uh, how black family interact. And then we <laughs> see even uh, in the previews, I usually don't talk about the previews, but it was just so good about something, you know, I guess Alexis finally get her issues off. She cussing in front of her mama and her daddy. I guess that's just how they was raised, you yeah. know. And then they get in some argument between the father and her. And he said, you While know, they in the car. They in the car. And he <laughs> said, you know what? Get the hell on. Get on out of here. <laughs> I'm like, you disrupted our peace. All right. I like this. Go back from where you came. And they they had the uh, the little white boyfriend. He looked like he was comfortable, though. (laughs) Husband, 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 husband. husband. Uh Yeah, yeah. So he looked like he was comfortable. He was like, Mm -hmm. this is just another day at the fight. Yes, yes. (laughs) That's 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 what I like to see. Yeah. I like to see fathers telling their daughter, "Get the hell on, you get get up out of here. You ain't talking about nothing. Get on out of here." Uh-huh. So 